Habare, welcome to our class. My name is Patricia and today is our second lesson. We are going to learn about Swahili greetings. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Swahili greetings has two ways of greetings. It has formal way and informal way, just the same as in English. Okay. Habari, habari, habari. When you hear someone says habari, that means news. Or when you hear someone says habari gani, what's news? Or when you hear sometimes we, in Tanzania we, we usually say, Habaliako, 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 the translation of this word is, what's your news? Habaliako, so habali, habaliako, or habaligani, the response is the same. Nzuri, njema. O salama, habari, nzuri, o nzuri sana, nzuri sana, habari gani, nzuri, o nzuri sana, habari yako, nzuri, o nzuri sana. Sometimes you can say njema, habari, njema, nzuri means Good. So it's just like in English when someone says, What's your news? Good. Habari. Njema. Njema means Nzuri. It's the same. Njema and Nzuri is the same. That means good. And Habari, you can say Salama. Salama means safe. So this is how we greet each other in Tanzania. And habari o habaligani o habariyako. What's your news? Habaligani. What's news? Eh? So this is how we greet each other in Tanzania. Habari za asubuhi. News of the morning. Habari za asubuhi. News of the morning or oh, good morning. Habari za mchana. Asubuhi means morning. So, habari za asubuhi. Asubuhi means morning. News of the morning or oh, good morning. You can say nzuri or oh, njema or oh, salama. Nzuri sana. Habari za asubuhi. Hmm? Habari za subuhi, nzuri o nzuri sana o njema o salama. Habari za mchana, mchana means afternoon, news of the afternoon o good afternoon. The response is nzuri, njema o salama o nzuri sana o njema o salama. Okay. Habari za jioni. Habari za jioni. Jioni in English means evening. News of the evening. Or oh, good evening. Habari za jioni. Habari za jioni. The response is the same. Nzuri, njema, o oh, salama. Habari za Usiku. Usiku means night. News of the night. Habari za usiku. Nzuri. Njema. O oh, salama. Habari za nyumbani. News of the home. Habari za nyumbani. Habari za nyumbani. Nzuri. Njema o salama. Habari za kazi. 
Habari za kazi. News of the work. How is your work? Or sometimes you can say how is your work? Habari za kazi. Nzuri. Salama o oh, njema nzuri sana vizuri okay habari za leo leo means today habari za leo the response is the same nzuri njema o oh, salama or you can say nzuri sana and sometimes when the news are not good you can say nzuri kidogo if someone says nzuri kidogo that you understand there is something not good. Okay. Habali. So this is how we reply. We reply when someone ask your news. We can say nzuri njema o salama. But when the news is not good, you can use this word like nzuri kidogo o si nzuri o mbaya. Habari nzuri kidogo. So when you hear someone says nzuri kidogo, you understand mm, something is not good. Or si nzuri, that you understand mm, there is something terrible happened. Or mbaya, that means something is very bad. So nzuri kidogo is like so so. Si nzuri is like it's not good. And mbaya means bad so news when you hear someone says bad that you means there is something that's not good going on to someone okay so this is the informal way of greetings so let's go to formal way hujambo 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 the translation of hujambo is how are you how are you? So, hujambo, the response is sijambo. Sijambo. Hujambo, sijambo. So, how are you? I'm fine. Sijambo, which means I'm fine. So, hujambo. So, let's see the meaning of the word hujambo. Jambo means issues. And who stands to represent nor. So, no issues, no issues. How are you? I'm fine. Hujambo, sijambo. So, this one we use to ask only one person. He or she. Only one person. So, when you ask, you greet two or more people, you can say, hamjambo. Hamjambo, and the response is hatu jambo. Ha tu. We put tu. Hatu jambo. Here we say si jambo. Only for one person. How are you? I'm fine. For one person. So when we, we ask two or more people, we say hamjambo, and the response is hatu jambo. We are fine. Ha to jambo. And so this is for two or more people. Then, okay. Ha jambo. Ha jambo. So when you ask someone if is he or she fine? Ha jambo. And the response is ha jambo. Is he or she fine? She's fine. Hajambo. Hajambo. Is she fine? Is he fine? Yes, she's fine. Hajambo. Hajambo. So this is how we greet each other in the former way. And shikamo. Shikamo. This is the respectful way of greeting. Shikamo. When you greet someone who is older than you, we use this word shikamo. Shikamo. Shikamo means I expect you. And the response is marahaba. Marahaba. Marahaba means is like I agree. Shikamo, I respect you. And the response is marahaba. I agree. So this is 
the way of greeting for people who are older than you. Shikamo, marahaba. Shikamo, marahaba. Okay. Okay, let's see the closing part of greetings, which is the, just the same as in English. When you finish the conversation and you want to leave, you can say, Kwaheli, Kwaheri, Kwaheri, or Kwaheri, which means bye, goodbye. And the response is the same. Kwaheri, Kwaheri, goodbye, goodbye, Kwaheri, Kwaheri. So, Kwaheri is... Just the same as in English, goodbye, and the response is the same, goodbye, goodbye. And another closing greeting is to onane badae, or to taonana badae, to taonana badae, see you later, see you later. So to taonana badae, to taonana badae, see you later, see you later, just the same. And... Siku njema. Siku njema. Siku means day and njema means nice or good. So, siku njema. Have a nice day or have a good day. So, the response is the same. Siku njema. Siku njema. So, this is how we greet each other in Tanzania or in East Africa. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will learn more and more in my everyday classes. And see you next time in our next video. Asante Kwaheri!